Hello guys and welcome to my hope to be short video about what everyone everyone's been getting ticked off about and it's yours and my childhood icon the blue blur. So what the fudge happened to the blue blur Paramount Pictures? So if you've seen the trailer, yeah, he's ugly, humanoid, realistic looking freaking rodent. Like the trailer's okay. The trailer's okay, but Sonic looks freaking horrible. Like I know the director said that they wanted to go to like a realistic Sonic the Hedgehog looking character, but Come on guys, like everybody knows that when you do video games or anime based movies, you have to make it as accurate as the original source, man. Not be like, oh, we're gonna make a Sonic the Hedgehog movie, but let's make him realistic and not how he actually looks in the like in the game. So scratch that, we'll just freaking do a realistic hedgehog, but just paint it with blue. And I understand why they added fur, like that's okay, but what the fudge Sonic, they freaking Turn him into like a humanoid, realistic rodent, rat arms, thick, long legs that my cousin kinda, kind of got like upset about because he said like those damn legs, they kind of scare me. And the shoes, like the shoes are okay, but they're supposed to be big. And in my opinion, I think they just made him all wrong. Like if the directors, come on, like even if you don't play Sonic, you know how Sonic looks like. Like, you know how he looks like. So, um, it's been confirmed that Paramount is going to fix Sonic the Hedgehog to make him look accurate to the video games. Have you seen those videos with, like, fan edits with, like, the eyes? Pretty much, like, how he looks like. So, they actually noticed the... The... Error that they made into making Sonic look freaking realistic. Oh my freaking god, what the fudge was that? So now I hopefully, for all of us hardcore fans, hopefully that Sonic looks like Sonic. And if they do fix Sonic, this is what I said. Paramount just like re-upload the same trailer, but with the real Sonic, the hedgehog. Like, just like, erase the humanoid abomination that they did and just replace it with the fixed video game accurate looking Sonic with gloves and not rodent hands and then like the big eyes and the big mouth and then like not the white freaking fur that he has because he's tan and no blue arms this is not Sonic Boom Paramount okay this is not Sonic Boom with the uh, skin color arms and big shoes because they they just look like sneakers I make them less tall and come on Sonic is skinny so why are his legs gonna thick so Paramount is gonna fix Sonic it's been confirmed fans spoke up they're gonna fix it so yeah and I hope the movie okay I, I've seen the Pokemon trailer a bunch of times and I have a feeling that um, Pokemon is going to do a bit better than Sonic with pretty much like I think the visuals I don't, I don't know about the story but the visuals look way better than Sonic's ones right now but we understand it because the CGI is still not finished maybe it'll look better on the second trailer but who knows if it turns out to be like a dumb movie or something like that's okay like as long as it's the real as long as it's the real Sonic I'm okay with it like, you can have, like, a dumb, like, plot. But with the real Sonic, then I'm I'm all for it. Because in, in the trailer, it was kind of like if Eggman and Sonic were already on Earth. Like, they're part of our world. And not that they came from their dimension, like, from their Earth to here. Like, many people said that, like, oh, if it wasn't, like, from... If it was from like the other dimension then the movie would have flopped or something like been bad because nobody likes those type of movies like oh different dimensions but they they did that with sonic x like the anime like they were in the world 
got teleported to our world with the Chaos Emeralds so they can work that out. But the trailer was kind of like saying that Eggman and Sonic were already in a world that they are part of our world and not like from their other dimension. So yeah, as for Eggman, um, he's okay, but I just hope that he's more serious like in the games. Like he's funny, but also serious because like Jim Carrey, he's a good character, you know. Um, Bruce Almighty. I think that was the name, or Stephen Almighty, like, good film when I was a kid. Like, I grew up with Jim Carrey, so, you know, but this Eggman, like, I understand why he's not fat. He's supposed to be skinny because he doesn't want to wear, like, a big-ass suit or something. But for the representation of Eggman, please make him serious but yet funny. Because, like, with Sonic, please be like, curse you, hedgehog, you meddling hedgehog. And, like, you know how he's in the games, like, his iconic laugh, oh! You know, like a freaking mad Santa Claus, like, oh, 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 you know. So I just hope that we get an accurate Eggman 2 because I don't know. People say that video game movies don't work out because they don't rely on the source and they just like make up their own. I mean, Dragon Ball, the movie they made in 2009, he wasn't freaking Goku. Come on, guys. Yes. Spiky hair, gel hair, it's not Super Saiyan. Um, Super Saiyan monkey, it's not Bigfoot. And again, Kamehameha waves kill, they don't care. So why would they do, like we're going to make a movie based on Dragon Ball, but we're not even going to make it like Dragon Ball. We're going to make it our own version of Dragon Ball. Please don't do that, Paramount. Please actually play, like, stop production. If the movie's already done, play the original Sega games and re-edit scenes if you guys screwed up some of the scenes, like, to make them accurate. Please make it accurate. That's a huge Sonic fan and other fans who grew up with the classic Sonic. Please make it accurate. And my dog just, well, the neighbor's dog, my landlord's dog just came in. Please make it accurate. Like, play the games and, you know, redo scenes and make it accurate. Because, like, um, like, Sonic is my childhood as many others. And, like, with the Pokemon movie, like, every adult that was a kid back then wanted Pokemon to be real. And that movie is like a freaking dream come true. Pokemon being in our world. And Sonic being in our world would be like a semi-dream come true for us who grew up so with Sonic since we were kids. Like, I don't know if their dream was to, like, you know, have Sonic War, okay? To have, like, Sonic in our world. Like, I, I don't know if many fans dreamed about that. Like, ooh, we want Sonic to be, like, in our world. Like, you know, like, like when they were kids. And then be, like, 20 years later, like, we're, like, 20s and in, in our mid-20s or, like, in our early 30s. And then be, like, oh, my God, this is, like, the best dream come true. First Pokemon being real in our world now. The blue blur like an icon so please make it at least good not the movie doesn't have to be perfect but at least enjoyable and fun that's how that's what i'm gonna say and this was today's video gotta go fast you're too slow yeah sonic fan for life as many other of you, of you guys watching this video who grew up with sonic Let's hope that this is, um, that Sonic the movie will be on par with Pokemon or at least like enjoyable and fun. Bye guys. Gotta go fast.